So, a month with the iPhone 14 Pro Max after using the iPhone 13 Pro for a long time. I'm feeling a little cheated. Four weeks of trying to experience real changes and improvements and no, it's not all bad. Sure, the new iPhone is better at everything but a little bit better. Don't you think progress has really slowed down? Last year I was using the iPhone 13 Pro and I thought it was the best size of any device. This year I wanted a new experience. I bought the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now a lot of people complain that a big smartphone is not comfortable to use. It's matter of habit. I don't complain about the size of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but after four weeks of using it I go back to the iPhone 13 Pro and it feels feels like a very small device. It feels like a toy. Exactly the same feelings when you first pick up the iPhone 12 mini. You don't want to let it out of your hands. But the big iPhone has a number of advantages. On the big iPhone 14 Pro Max it's much more comfortable to type with both hands. The number of false keystrokes and keyboard misses is much lower. But still think twice before buying a smartphone with the prefix Max. Two features that in theory should make an iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max owner feels like they have a new device. Let's start with always-on display. This isn't the first year I've talked about how this feature isn't a must-have. With its appearance on the iPhone 14 Pro I've been convinced of this many times over. Always-on display on the iPhone is the feature for the sake of a feature. It is not useful but it managed to take away from 5 to 15 percent of the smartphone's charge in a day. The main problem with always-on on iPhone is that there is no point in displaying widgets on the gray screen, which are supposed to show some action. Here is the music player widget. I don't get the information that music is playing right now, because in the language of the interface the gray icon is an idle icon. Dynamic Island is actually an improved notification system that you can interact with. But First and foremost is the notification specifically. They've gotten neater and more advanced. Here is an example of what notifications look like on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and on the iPhone 13 Pro. The way I see it, it's gotten better. The iPhone 14 Pro Max screen is the one of the best screen on the market. Can an owner of last year's iPhone notice that? Hardly. In direct comparison of the two iPhones the difference is almost invisible. Photos look the same, videos are displayed the same. To see the difference you have to peer into every pixel. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has a maximum brightness of 2000 nits. Such brightness is achieved only in direct sunlight. But if it's hot outside, the smartphone will quickly heat up and reset the brightness of the screen automatically. In autumn and winter this will not happen. And in summer and spring the maximum screen brightness is guaranteed to be reduced when it gets hot. The only competitor to the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the Galaxy S. S20 Ultra. But Samsung has a completely different approach when it comes to displaying color. The iPhone 14 Pro Max screen is ideal not only for content consumption, but also for content creation. You can be sure that a picture that looks cool on the iPhone screen will look just as cool on the other user's devices. Let's talk about performance and make a little test. I edited 4K video lasting more than one minute in Video Leap Editor and applied the same same effects to the same video sequences. Both smartphones handled this video in the same amount of time. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is the best gaming smartphone on the market. Games at Full HD resolution and 120Hz work perfectly and without any lag. If you do not play in games on the smartphone, you will not feel the difference in the performance. The iPhone 14 Pro Max have a very big problem. This phone discharges faster than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. First, because of the new always-on display feature. Yes, I recommend disabling this feature. Secondly, because of iOS 16, I'm sure Apple will fix this problem in the next updates. Cameras. 
Is there a difference between 12 megapixels and 48 megapixels? Can we say that the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera is better than the iPhone 13 Pro? Daytime photos are slightly different, but the difference is not very noticeable. The 48 megapixels takes more detailed pictures, but you won't use this mode all the time, as the size of one picture is about 85 megabytes, and you can only see better detail by zooming in hard on the screen. Screen. Video in the dark is much better. The iPhone is still the best smartphone for shooting video. The iPhone 14 Pro Max selfie camera is the best camera on the market. Take a look at this image, color reproduction and details. It's beautiful. In the next video I will show you all problems with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and how to fix it. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss a new video. Bye!